Who are you gonna talk about? Come on. Okay. Sharon, whenever oh, you're ready, okay. right. try to hold the paper down so I yeah, know. Somebody, sure. somebody thought it was Eno. Yeah. I cannot. Why have you written a sign called The Best and Sons of Eno? Uh, and I said, okay. Because yeah. that's the only thing. This microphone's not on. Okay. That, that's working. Okay, so we're ready? You're, we're yeah. already rolling. Hello, I'm Sharon Caddick from New York, New Rock, and we're here with Shriek back in New York City with Barry Andrews. Hello. And Martin Barker. Hi. They're doing a show at the Ritz tonight, and they have a new album out. They also have a film to go along with the album, is that right? We do indeed, yeah. Multimedia people, as we are. Could you talk a little bit about it? Well, it's a, um, it's a film that I directed. It's called Sacred City. It's a companion piece, really, to the record. Um, it's using pretty much uh, pop primo type uh, formula. But, uh, we're trying to push it a little bit further. There's, there's some narrative, there's some, um, there's some text. It's, uh, it's, yeah, it's an arty sort of event, generally speaking. And can you buy where the record is, or do you have to go to a certain place? Yeah, it'll, it'll, we, we, it took longer to do than we thought it was going to do, the way such things uh, sometimes, the way it sometimes happens. So it's coming out in the new year. Um, but you can, if you can, if you write to the record company, I'm sure they're okay. Knock a couple of copies off me. Yeah. Um, well, when you were doing the album, did you write the album first or the film first, or did you work on it both together? Well, they they were born at pretty much the same time because I, I've been making uh, some films in the, in the time that uh, Shreveback's been on sabbatical, and uh, so the city idea was really something that was first dreamt up as a as a film. That was first dreamt up as a film, and later became uh, an album and a film. Uh -huh. and where do you draw from when you dream these up? I mean, do you get them when you're sleeping? From you this! Awake? This, look at it. <laughs> it all comes from, you know, we're all part of this. I mean, I mean it's there, isn't it? It's just amazing and it's fascinating just to see how this has grown and how we're all attracted by cities and how we're part of and how the city, you know, becomes part of you. And, but it's, the, it's this thing that people have built, but it's, it obeys natural laws, and we all uh, seem to behave in different ways when we're in it. And it's this kind of amazing construct that isn't quite art, and isn't quite nature. And, uh, and it always seems to be a place where the most extreme things happen. So it's, it, yeah, it's, a, it's a phenomenon. There's nothing else like it. Do you think these feelings and, and the ideas change when the cities and the states and the countries change, or is it universal? Um, I think that what happens in cities is, is always filtered by you know, whatever the culture of the, of the, of the country is. Um, and yeah, that will change, of course, all the time. Well, I noticed on your album you had one song in particular that caught my attention, The Bastard Son of Enoch. And uh, I was wondering what that's about and who Enoch really is. Well, who Enoch really is? I see you're not a Bible reader. Uh, no, I'm sorry, City. I can't say that I am. Yeah, burn in hell, just Sharon, so you away. I it's like scarier material than that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, Enoch was the son of Cain. Of Cain and Abel, and uh, <clears throat> Enoch was also the name of the, the first city that was founded by um, founded by Cain after he left the Garden of Eden, having slain his brother. So I take as the um, as the idea for the song the, um, the the story that perhaps all these um, all the all the cities of sin, all the bad bad <laughs> mad bad cities such as we see before us here. Um, we're all descended from this original one, so we have a, a genealogical um, uh, table. Uh, Enoch begat Uruk, begat Nineveh, begat Babylon, begat Sodom, begat Jericho, and so on up to uh, up to the present day. Mm -hmm. So I see you take it from the Bible. Do you think you're a religious person in the sense of like, Christianity, or do you have a different philosophy on life? Also, I have lots, lots of different philosophies in life, but uh, I, I plunder from the Bible, same as I plunder from, uh, uh, you know, Kmart adverts. How about you? The same, really. I mean, I was, I was a Roman Catholic, but uh, I find all religions really something that you can learn from. 
Sons is nearly over it now, isn't it? So it'll probably be the next one by the time you know we get out of screen. Yet. Not yet, no. So I think I'm the new video is sort of the same thing. Okay. Okay. Hi, I'm Martin Barker from Street Back. You're watching New York, New Rock, and um, this is the new Street Back video. Yeah, say again without trying to look at the logo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here watching. That was a good one. <laughs> no, that's nice. But that was great. Hi, I'm Martin Barker from Streetback, and you're listening to New York, New Rock, New Rock, and this is the new Streetback video. Yeah. Rocky, man. Hi, I'm Martin Barker from Streetback, and you're listening, you're watching New York, New Rock, and this is the new Streetback video. I don't know what your name is, I'm sorry. Barry. Same thing? Yeah. Sure. And then don't get both here. We'll show it together now. Let's do it together. Martin, you want to get in there too? Okay. Over this Nice shot. Nice shot. As far over as you can get. Because we get the window otherwise, same construction work. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Alright. Whenever you're ready. Hello. We are Shriekback. You're watching New York, New Rock. And this is our new video. Enjoy. That was great. That's all we need. Did you want to say one more thing? Happy anniversary. Every year I do anniversary show, so I can include you in yeah. the anniversary show. Happy, happy, anniversary, an happy anniversary, Wolfgang and New York, New Rock. Okay. <laughs> it's a Mind free chat. Anything about your mum we'd like to mention? <laughs> you ready? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're Shriek Bag. Happy anniversary, Wolfgang. And New York, New Rock. We got time for one, one more question? Yeah. One more. Maybe we can do some more questions now. All right. <laughs> I want to ask him about one other song and then I'll take it off that one. <laughs> right. I, I don't want to, but I just thought you might need, need to. No, I don't think it matters. Does it Steve, am I in the way? Short and sweet, so that way we can ask more questions and then on and on and on. All right, well, I wanted to Sound ask. Sound bites. Ask, Sharon, ask the question so they can give you a quick answer. I wanted to ask about a exquisite corpse, that song particularly caught my attention. And I was wondering what you were thinking about when you wrote it. Well, Exquisite Corpse was a game played by the Surrealists in the 30s. And it was a game in which uh, people would draw, different, taking turns to draw parts of, of, an, of a body. Um, and so the city has been compared to an Exquisite Corpse in that um, you may see a building like that next to a building like that. And uh, probably the people who designed them didn't think too much about uh, whether the, the two styles would go together. Um, so I'm taking that as, as one idea, and the, and the idea that the detective novel is, uh, is probably the most urban form of literature. 
um, where we got a detective, a sort of seedy gumshoe, looking for the exquisite corpse, uh -huh. looking for the soul of the city. If you like. It's a lot around the outside, but there you go. And where do you think corpses go when they're uh, dead, buried, and uh, disappeared? That's a sick corpse? question, Sean. I don't answer that. Where do you think they go? I can't tell you. I'm asking <laughs> the questions here. All right. Well, what do you guys want to talk about? Do you have anything uh, particularly like to say? I think um, it's a beautiful day in New York, and the lights striking the buildings in a rather wonderful uh, way, creating hard shadows. Huh. And it's what do you think about this? Well, the same really. New York, what a construction. I mean, how big can you get really, and how impressive can you get? And what can represent a city in this place? We're, uh, yeah, foolishly. Uh, this is the, the best place to come if you want to be on top of the world. Oh. <laughs> Get a grip. Thank you. That's it. Okay. That's all. Thanks, guys. Just, uh, oh, just Get a yeah. of yeah. You want to take a still of us? <laughs> Yeah, take the guys. And thank you very much. Oh, thank you.